So, so I think, and so that, that actually turned around. Now, again, you'll see some arguments on it. Well, that's all because top-down government said this and, that, and that's what happened. But I really, I think it was more like public awareness and then the response that people had to, to people, people wanting to do something about that problem and the, and, and the innovation that really found our way out of it. We'll have a similar kind of thing here with the, with the carbon. They want to put a carbon tax in place and that's the economic theory that uh, that's the going economic, which makes sense to some degree. However, it's difficult to gauge how that's going to work, given the fact that it's not just us, it's the entire world. So it's going to be very difficult to imply a carbon tax on China, for example, who doesn't care at all about the these kind of global warming things. All we're going to, you know, we'll hurt ourselves at the cost of shipping the jobs over to China that are doing this kind of thing. And so again, interesting topic with these excise taxes, communications and air transportation taxes, you've got the fuel taxes. So that's the, the big one. If you're in like manufacturing and whatnot, then you might need more like diesel fuel. So here's another one where we're trying, they're trying to move away from more clean fuels and efficient fuels, but some kind of trucks and whatnot run better with like diesel fuels and, and these types of things. And then, so now the question is, do we put a tax on, on those types of fuels? And again, those taxes somewhat make sense as from the standpoint of, I'm trying to tax people more that are using the infrastructure, which everybody got basically through tax dollars. And so it kind of makes sense to try to find ways to allocate the cost of the maintenance to people who get more benefit from like the roads. So tax on the first, at least in my mind, these are my, this is my thought process. So tax on the first retail sale of heavy trucks, uh, trailers and tractors, manufacturers tax on the sale or use of a variety of different uh, articles. And then you got tax on indoor tanning services. Not exactly sure what that was about, but form, I, I don't have any tax tanning service businesses, but uh, I'm sure they're popular where I'm at, actually. So but I don't know much about it. Form 2290. There is a federal excise tax on the use of certain trucks, truck tractors and buses on public highways. So once again, this kind of deals with that public highway situation, which which is something that our tax dollars pay for on a federal level, given the fact that they're interstate commerce, meaning the highways are going between states and therefore are not the responsibility of any individual state and so on. So we need maintenance on those roads then. Who's in charge of the maintenance on those roads and how are we going to pay for that? So the tax applies to vehicles having a taxable gross weight of 55,000 pounds or more. You would think that that would cause a bigger wear and tear on the road, which means it might justify them paying more of the tax to, so that we can upkeep the road, which kind of makes sense. So report the tax on form 2290 heavy highway vehicle use tax return. For more information, you can see the instructions for form 2290. Depositing excise taxes. If you have a, if you have to file a quarterly excise tax return on form 720, you may have to deposit your excise taxes before the return is due. For details on depositing excise taxes, see the instructions for form 720.